What's up guys? This is my first Forza video, so I hope you guys are okay with it. Uh, first off, I've seen a lot of people have trouble with the Flight of the Valkyries, which is a seasonal championship where you can unlock the Senua ST1. And the restrictions are uh, S2 and uh, Swedish and Danish cars. So if we go to the other show, we can see that Denmark actually doesn't have any cars. Uh, so we are going to be stuck with Sweden. So the Danish cars otherwise is the Lego cars or the Senvo ST1. But I'm not going to assume that everyone has Lego expansion or previously unlocked cars. So uh, this is what we can buy. So if you want to spend more, you can go with the Koenigsegg Agera. Or you can go with the uh, Volvo Polestar, which is significantly less. If you're not budget, go with the Volvo. And if you're not on a budget, I would suggest the Koenigsegg, because I thought it was more fun to drive, but the Volvo worked too. So, grab one of those cars. Um, I've spec them out a bit. So, uh, let's see. So, this is Koenigsegg uh, with a rally spec. And uh, here's the Volvo with another rally spec. And the Volvo obviously isn't as fast as the Koenigsegg, but. It gets the job done and it's somewhat easy to drive. I've shared the tunes so you'll have an easier time to just get in and roll. And I've named this one Valkyrie's Dirt. And the share code is this if you wanna try it out. I think it's really easy to drive, it has nice gearing. It's quite nice, you can drift around and keep it on a drift. It's very easy to control, doesn't really pull away weird. So, uh, if you have the Kinex egg, try this one out. Uh, let's see what the Volvo one is. And this one is Valkyrie's the Rally, so I think I named those two differently. Share code for this is, uh, as you can see on screen. This is also quite easy to drive, not as fast. Uh, I do prefer the Kinex egg more, but this is going to work out as well. And again, this is the far cheaper option. I think car plus the tuning parts are going to be around 150k instead of over a million. So if you're not about it, definitely go for the Volvo if you don't already have the Koenigsegg. So uh, those are my two options and I will be sharing some gameplay just so you can see. Uh, I, I did win all three of the races very easily. Yeah, that's about it. It's quite easy to drive and I'm by far not the best driver, so as you can see on my driving, just take it a bit slow, make sure not to crash, and it should be easy. To start off, just set the difficulty to the lowest you need to, is my suggestion. If you only want to have this done, just set it to highly skilled and you'll be done in no time with the championship. We're gonna see that we're gonna be up against mainly Volvo V60 and some Koenigseggs and a few Iron Knight. S1s because they apparently can't go any higher than S1, so not too hard. Uh, if you can just have some further control when uh, if you play with a controller just to pull the trigger halfway, that's great. And especially with the Koenigsegg here, it has so much power, it has some 1000 something horsepower. Uh, if you can just use some of it and sort of slide around on half gas, you're gonna have so much traction. As you can see, I'm hitting stuff, I'm gonna hit the wall here, or mess up the turn. So, I'm obviously not that good at driving, but you can see, uh, some half gas around this turn and there's so much traction. Another thing, when you come to jumps and stuff, slow down a bit, get straight and land good. It saves you so much time and you don't have to rewind because you messed up a bit. As you can see, it's super nice, super easy to drive, and I already have a big lead. Uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay from the Volvo V60 as well, and the other two races. But just sort of going slower is faster here. Just make sure to not mess up the turns and stuff too much, and you'll be golden. So I'll share some gameplay from the Volvo and some from the last track. And uh, yeah, easy wins. Just. Be consistent, don't mess up, and yeah, super easy. So hope this helped, and uh, let me know if you want to see me making more Forza content.
that's going to be all for today so thank you for checking this out and i hope the tunes and stuff help you out